a campaign of lies, misinformation, and deceit. This from the oil fields workers' trade union research officer, Ozzy Warwick, as he condemned claims by UNC candidate Dr. Rudal Munilal that the government has hastily signed off on a deal to give away the refinery. Ian Wayson has more. At a political meeting in Pointe Pei on Wednesday evening, UNC candidate for Orupuch East, Dr. Rudal Munilal, said the PNM administration had given away the Petrotrin Pointe Pei refinery. I am told that Keith Rowley has gone secretly in a clandestine and surreptitious manner to sign a deal to give away the refinery because the people who take in the refinery not paid. But his remarks have been rubbished by senior OWTU member Ozzy Warwick. The oil fields workers trade unions company Patriotic Energies and Technologies was the preferred bidder to operate the refinery. And two weeks ago in Palo Seco, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley announced that the government will soon wrap up the sale of the refinery. The comments by Dr. Munilal would have not gone down well with the OWTU. Those statements that were made is just a continuation of the campaign of lies, misinformation and deceit as characterized by the UNC. We are currently engaged in discussions and shall respond to that foolishness at the appropriate time. The refinery was a talking point at the meeting where former Energy Minister Kevin Ramnarine maintained that Petrotrin was not a drain on the Treasury and repeated the UNC mantra that they will restart the refinery if they get into government. Patriotic Energies and Technologies Company Limited, a company wholly owned by the OWTU, won the bid to purchase the Guaracara Refinery Company Limited and the Paria Fuel Trading Company Limited with a US $700 million offer. Ian Wayson, TTT News.